We're going to do a short video on making some garden stakes. I needed some, and uh, I thought I'd just video it and maybe to help somebody out. We're going to do it two different ways. Uh, we're going to do a one with a stencil font, and then we'll do one with a suspended text. So let's just grab a square, drag out a rectangle, and drop it. Click your selector tool, and that's about right. That's just over or right around 8 inches, 221 millimeters. Uh, we'll make the width about 30. That's just over an inch. Uh, then we need to round off just these, just one corner of it, or two corners rather. Uh, if we were to do it over on the Shape Properties tab, it round off all four corners. Or if we held down uh, control, you can see it gets this uh, little controller here and that would round off all four corners. So what we wanna do is go over to this radius on the left, click it, set it for the radius that you want. Five is good, you can go up, up and down. And then click your selector tool, click your object again, and click the radius button and then you can click the corners that you want to round off just like that and then click your selector tool now remember you can scroll in and out and you can uh, with your mouse wheel and you can push down and move the entire canvas around all right so we need a point on it so let's grab the shape tool here Hold shift and just drag out a perfect hexagon. Click the selector tool and then hold control and grab that controller on top and turn this into a rec or to a triangle. Uh, now you can use your uh, period key and just rotate it clockwise. Grab a hold of it, hold your alt key. And then you'll get that guideline. You can snap it right into the end of the stick. And then grab this bottom. You'll get another guideline when it hits. And just let go. Grab them together. And click weld. Alright, so we have our stake. We'll control D. Get us another one. So for this first one, we will use a stencil font. And if you don't have a stencil, I will, uh, I'll put a link down in the description and you can go get a free one. And we like stencil fonts because they don't fall out. It holds all the letters together. Uh, let's do tomato. If it weren't for the stencil, all of these would fall out. Or the centers, the O, the A. So grab a hold of it, hit your Alt key, and then you can get that center line. You can drag it up or down, put it wherever you like. Okay, so for this next one, we're going to suspend it. So let's grab a, another square, drag out a rectangle, make it as big as you like. Click your selector tool, grab it, hold the Alt key, and then you can center it up like that. Uh, let's grab the text tool again, and this time we will use Arial Black. And we'll type out tomato again in all caps. And click your selector tool. And we'll get a copy of this, Control D, move it down, and these centers. Uh, you would lose if you if you cut it this way, like this first one. Then those centers would drop out if it were not a uh, stencil. So if we select that, we right click, and we convert that to a path. Then you can see if I can select it right. I'm trying to miss those centers. Then your centers would drop out, and you would uh, you would lose them. So we don't want that. So let's get rid of that. Now this way, 
they will hold in there if you suspend them. We can make this a little bigger. Let me scroll that in some more. And you just need them to barely touch. And then you can hold your Alt key and get them right where you want them. Uh, so what we've got to do is these two are not yet grouped. So we have to group those. You can do it up top. Uh, because when you're using, uh, we'll use union for this. You have to be, you have to deal with two objects. So now we should be able to grab everything because we didn't break up this uh, tomato word. And let's go over to union here. Click union. And there we go. They didn't, they didn't grab too good at the bottom. So check out. Pay attention for that. See how some of them didn't quite touch? We don't want that. So we're going to go Control Z. Go back. We're going to touch the word again. See, I make a lot of mistakes, folks. And hopefully it helps somebody out <clears throat> to see me make them. And then you don't have to make them yourself. So I try to always include them. So grab it again. And hit Union, and that should be good. There we go. So that's good. Uh, in this case, your centers are going to fall out, but that's a good thing because the rest of the letter remains. Now for this one, we can make it a little larger if we want. Hold the Alt key to get it centered back up. And then you can group it together. Uh, so... <clears throat> Uh, like I said, I will drop a, uh, a link for a uh, stencil font. And uh, we'll go ahead and cut these out and take a look at them. I'm going to cut them out of 5 millimeter Luan plywood. And uh, they won't last very long unless you, uh, you put some kind of sealer on them. Put a sealer on them, they should last you a couple of seasons. So let's jump in the laser and cut these out. I'll be right back, folks. Okay, so like I said, I'm just cutting this out of some scrap 5 millimeter Luan plywood. And uh, should be fine for a couple of seasons if I coat it with something good. So uh, let's send the coat on over, cut these out, and see what they look like. All right, let's see what we got here. So here's our finished tomato steaks, and uh, I think they turned out pretty nice. So I'll go make some more for the some other vegetables now. So uh, I, I know this was kind of easy to do, but I can remember back to a time when I didn't know how, and I would have been happy for somebody to show me how. So if this was helpful, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and it'll help me to keep doing this and I would really appreciate it. So uh, if you have questions, let me know. I'm glad to answer them anytime on this project or any other project you have questions about. So uh, just check back often for new videos. You folks take care and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.